in this in this development of an Indian middle class, uh, I mean, <clears throat> I mean the, obviously it's changed people in terms of affluence and their ability to be in contact with the rest of the world. But do, do, I mean, are there any not fundamental changes in terms of culture and attitude towards life, but traditions of caste and religion and communal associations? Uh, I mean, some things endure, don't they, regardless of the shifts in economic situation or technological. I mean, after all, simply to have a cell phone means that you can talk with more people at almost any time. It doesn't really mean you're going to talk differently with people or that you'll talk with different people, does it? The Indian ambassador asked me the question you just asked mm -hmm. me the other day. Mm -hmm. He knew how to if I'd been there 60 years ago. Right. He asked me about the changes. Right. And I told him the changes that I've just told you what uh, globalization has meant in India. Right. He said, but you know also something about our culture. Do you have any regrets? Mm -hmm. And then he went on to say, I have regrets. This is a very huh. modern huh. Indian ambassador. What, what are your regrets about what? What do you think he meant? The changes. Huh. Uh, the vulgarity mm -hmm. of modern life. Mm -hmm. uh, cell phones. Mm -hmm. All right, cell phones are a good thing. But what does it do to village life, the relationship with your neighbors. Mm -hmm. It means you have another set of neighbors. Uh, community life may be disappearing mm -hmm. in the sense that was so much at the heart of Indian life. Family life may be disappearing. Uh, yeah, but the relationship of... Do still, you still marry in your caste? Isn't the marriage is still arranged? Isn't a family still important and all those <laughs> things? A good child still marries the the right. way the parents want. Right. Not all of them, but right. good, obedient children. Right. They still follow the career, right. but that that has not changed. Uh, I think also spirituality, I mm -hmm. don't quite know what the word means, right. but uh, you can still have a, re a talk mm -hmm. about religion or whatever you want to call it, mm. with almost anyone in India, including Indian businessmen, right. uh, who will be sincere in the discussion. I couldn't, I mm. think that may disappear, but it hasn't so far. India is still a country profoundly influenced by religion, right. whichever religion it is. And all of the nobility of globalization and people's ability to go to cities, ability to go to different parts of the world, uh, must uh, certainly affect uh, some aspects of traditional social relationships. It affects a great deal. Uh -huh. The fact that there are two million people of Indian origin in this country has had an enormous influence in India itself, on Indian politics. Mm -hmm. And of course, this is not unusual to India. This is a part of the corruption of social relations uh, throughout the world in, 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 in different ways and uh, profound uh, social changes which uh, really brings us back to the topic that we began the whole discussion with, um, that increasingly, if, if this is the case, dare I say, and I'm sort of making an advertisement or an argument for my own field of, of, of global studies, which we've tried to develop in, uh, in, in uh, Santa Barbara, maybe area studies is now best understood in a global context. Uh, oh, I agree with you wholly, yes. Mm -hmm. But there again, I mean, this is what this, this whole business of the change that's taken place. I think it's very important as you do global studies, mm -hmm. look at the country, India, China, and so on. And global studies is not going to make Chinese culture disappear mm -hmm. or Indian culture disappear. And, and our people who are running things in this country are not aware of this. They're not aware that... Uh, these Chinese high diplomats they meet, that these people they meet are profoundly Chinese. Mm -hmm. They're not globalized, way mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. That's true of India, too. Mm -hmm. Now, that I hope you'll include. I think global studies are terribly important. I'd be glad mm -hmm. to see them replace mm -hmm. area studies, or whatever we used to call it. But somehow, as the world becomes more, we become more the same, we also stay profoundly, in many ways, very different. Yes. I asked a young man in your class, and no, it wasn't your class, we were the same, about uh, marriage. Right. He rather embarrassedly admitted that he wouldn't mind his parents choosing a, a wife for him. Uh -huh. Even though he was an American of Indian background, he grew up here. Spoke with an American accent. Right. Now, I think they have to take that into consideration. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, it's, it's, uh, Ainsley, you've been a profoundly wonderful uh, <laughs> discussion, and we've uh, been enriched by your knowledge, and uh, we've been fascinated with your past. I've been enriched by, by Santa Barbara. Well, it's been a pleasure <laughs> to have you here. Thank you so much.